Hi there, it's Luke here once again for the M5 Stack official channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at MQTT. It's something we've discussed in the past, but in this video, I wanted to try and create a local setup using a Raspberry Pi or a computer running Linux. We can use this as the MQTT broker on our local network, and then we can publish topics and subjects from our M5 stack devices to the broker and also receive those subjects and topics to the M5 stack devices from the broker. So let's see how we can do that. So first off we're going to want to get Raspbian or some other Linux operating system onto our Raspberry Pi. Alternatively if you already had a laptop with Linux installed I'm using Ubuntu for this video, so we're going to dive right in. First thing we need to do is open a terminal and then make sure that our repositories are updated. And we'll install Mosquito. Followed by that, we'll also need to install Mosquito clients. And then it automatically starts it by default so we'll stop that for just a moment and what I want to go and do now is find the IP address of my Linux machine so here I have it and now that's all we need for this moment now we're going to dive right into UI flow so I have the latest firmware installed and we'll go down straight into the advanced functions and you can see here we've got two sort of demos publish and subscribe so we're going to use publish for now set client ID it really doesn't matter what you put in here I'm just calling it m5 fire because that's the device I'm using then in the server here we want to put in the IP address that you just got from your Mosquito machine the port is standard 1883 doesn't change unless you specify otherwise and then I'll just drag this out of the way because we want it to publish a message more than once so I'm gonna put this into the loop here and in the topic I'll just put M5 output again it doesn't matter what you put here unless there is some specific information that you want to deliver now back on our Linux machine I type in Mosquito minus V and that sets up the server and you'll see in just a moment we start to receive those messages from the M5 fire. Now that was just a simple test now let's see what else we can do. Now I'll put in a delay there because I want to also add a button press. So once a button press I'm going to send a button was pressed message and again it doesn't matter what we put here and again I'll open up that terminal dialog so you can see every time I press the button I get the button pressed message now going back we'll also try something else how about if we send the accelerometer values so we can either publish it as a topic or a message. We can put this in topic as you can see on the terminal dialog that was showing up but I couldn't see the message as it was truncated in the terminal. So this will make sure that I can see the values. And also I thought we'd add a unit so we'll add an angle unit and then get the angle rotation value and put that into another topic and we'll space them out so that we can we can see both of the values getting printed and I'll open it up the terminal once again and here you can see I'm getting the accelerometer values pretty steady because I'm not moving it and I'm twisting the angle sensor here so you can see some difference there all the way up to 1024 and back down to zero so that's it for the so that's it for the publish what about subscribe 
So with subscribe, we're going to send a message on the Linux machine and have it received on the M5 stack device. So we'll go into MQTT blocks and then drag this block out and add in a name for the topic to subscribe to. Then we'll have to enter a variable into this little function here. I'll call that message. And we'll set that message to get the topic data. Then I want to see that topic data on the screen. So we'll also create a label. Then use the label show block to display that message. And now you'll see once we send that to the device, well, you can have a look here in the terminal again. Nothing's happening right now, but if I open a separate terminal and I'm going to type mosquito underscore pub for publish and then message, so a test message I'm going to send and then minus T and then message. This is important that I put this the same as the topic that we subscribe to on UI flow. And there we go. Once we send that command, you can see the, the test message appears on the screen. And that's about all we have time for in today's video. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you have any suggestions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.